right? Yes, lovely to be here. Um, so I am a, a very good looking man, thank you. Um, <laughs> but what my peeve is about is about uh, my mates. I've got some lovely mates, but I've also got some dickish mates. Now there's no denying I'm, I'm a little bit chubby. Have we got any other chubby people in? Yeah. <laughs> well, there's more than that. Like, I know, I know. <laughs> I know we're an intimate group, but guys, come on. Like, I, I'm 16 stone at the moment. I, I've lost a little bit of weight. I've actually lost three and a half stone since June, and um, there's no need to applaud, so I'll move on. Okay, that's fine. No, <laughs> nothing? Okay. Um, I was like, I was 19 and a half, like 20 stone, like a proper big boy, like mobility scooter breaking down kind of fat. Like I was a, a big lad. And uh, like my friends were quite sporty, but also not. Like I went on a lad's weekend away. Now, the only good thing that happened was that Saturday night on my expense. Now, we were getting ready to go out, about eight of us, nine of us in this hotel room. I was ironing my shirt. I was a little bit drunk. Um, um, and whilst ironing my shirt, I did one of the most painful things you will ever experience. Now, as I say, 19 and a half stone, topless, a little bit pissed. The iron just glided across my hairy equator. And what is the most... <laughs> Thanks for laughing. Uh, the most painful thing you will ever experience. I screamed. My mate Chris came out of the shower. Chris is a paramedic. He went, what's wrong? I, went, I muttered the words I don't think I've said since I was four years old. I went, I burnt me tummy. <laughs> he went, quick, get in the shower. I was like, what? He went, get in the shower. So I got in the shower. He took off the shower head and started spraying me down, if I'm honest, what looked like a deleted scene from Free Willy. Just hosing me down like some sort of beach vigil. It was degrading. Then all my mates, they started coming and taking photos, sticking them on Twitter, putting them on Facebook, tagging my mum in, which was Megalos, wasn't it? And uh, then the last person to come in was my mate Ash. Now, Ash, he's like one of my best mates. I was the best man at his wedding. He's a scouser. He's a little bit of a bell. And, and he came in, saw me absolutely dripping wet in nothing but me boxer shorts and my socks. This scar getting darker and darker. And so, <laughs> mate, looks like you've had a cesarean, but they've kept the baby in. <sighs> Unbelievable. <laughs> So he's, uh, he's now divorced, uh, a bit of fun. <laughs> and the other thing is, like, I'm, I'm, I'm a comedian now, but I've also got another job. Uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a choir boy. Um, and that is the usual reaction that gets, just deathly <laughs> silence. Any, any choir boys in? No, because it's not 1954. Um, when I was younger, though, I wanted to play football. I wanted to play football for Grimsby Town. I've seen I'm a massive Grimsby Town fan. I go to a lot of their games. Now, that never happened for the reasons that you can see with your eyes. I'm a big lad. Um, but I got asked to go and sing at Blundell Park when I was 16 years old with the choir that I was in, St. James Grimsby Parish Church, for any ladies out there. No? OK, fair enough. Um, <laughs> And they said, look, come and sing you know, a few songs, your choir, before the, for, for the game. I was like, absolutely not. Like, I'm, singing at a football match would be absolutely horrific. Do you know what I mean? In a dress. 20 times worse. Like, look, don't wear the dresses, just come and do it. <laughs> My best mates, Timmy and Brendan, were like, look, go and do it. You're too fat to be a footballer, but you're a very, very good singer. Like, you combine your two dreams. Go and bloody do it, mate. So after two weeks of them urging me to do it, I went and did it. And we sang two songs. We sang the national anthem. And the second one was a choral rendition of Grimsby Town's famous chant, We Only Sing When We're Fishing. Uh, we looked mental. We looked absolutely <laughs> mental. So we were there and I'll, I'm gonna do a little song for you. It's like, we only sing when we're fishing, you sing when we're fishing. We only sing when we're fish. We looked absolutely <laughs> mental, <laughs> <laughs> mental. And it's now it's quite loud. It's now it's a, now it's a applaud. Um, what I quite like about that is the look on your faces when I start singing. Uh, the only way to describe it is can you remember the first time you saw Susan Boyle live on TV? <laughs> Exactly the same faces. Cheers. Thank you. Um, so I, we were singing that and we looked ridiculous. And then a chant came from the pontoon. The pontoon is where I had my season ticket with the boys. It's a very earthy stand. It's a bit lively. Oi, oi, do you know what I mean? And they started their own song. And we're going to recreate it here now. So if we could all... It's, the words are, who's the fat prick in the blue? So it's, um, <laughs> who's the fat prick in the blue? Who's the fat prick in the... All together now. Who's the fat... Louder. Who's the fat prick? Venomous. Who's the fat prick in the blue? One more time. Who's the fat... Frick in the blue. Turned out it was me. He was me. Uh, I looked at my choir master. It was about 30, 32 stone. He went, to be fair, Lloyd, I'm wearing red. It is definitely you. I was like, oh, God. This is my moment, like my Martin McCutcheon like moment. And I was like, oh, God. The pontoon started laughing. I just went, hey. <laughs> Walked down the tunnel, I started crying. I took off my blue jacket, I put on a black one. I went to the back of the pontoon where Brendan and Timmy were waiting for me. They were there, and they're like, oh, mate. I was like, look, let's just not talk about this again. Do you know I mean, you were just trying to encourage me to do my two loves, Grimsby Town, and singing. It's backfired, but listen, let's just get on with it. But yeah, no, um, no, we're sorry about the chant. We started it as a bit of a joke, and it kind of got out of hand. <laughs> and that is why my friends are dicks. Um, you've been absolutely lovely. I'm Lloyd Griffith. Thank you very much. Cheers.